r slash ask reddit by redmond ets what was your sir this is a wendy's moment i was working at mcdonald's and this lady said can i get the wendy's four for four i said mom this is a mcdonald's and without a moment's hesitation she replied indeed it is can i get a big mac lol i'll give her points for a smooth recovery I worked at Walmart for a long time in the hardware department. Had a customer call asking if we sold toilets. I said, like, toilet seats? He said, no, like actual toilets. So I said, sorry, we just sell the seats and replacement parts, no porcelain. He got all huffy and said, Jesus, what is this place? Walmart? I paused for a moment and said, yes sir, it is. Silence for a long moment. Then he said in a little voice. This isn't Home Depot? No sir, you called Walmart. Oh crap, I am so sorry. And he hung up. I laughed my ass off. <coughs> Went to drive through at a Wendy's and the person taking the order said welcome to Walmart. I was really confused and I heard laughing and he said I'm so sorry he works there too and was on autopilot. Missed opportunity for the Uno you know, reverse card. Imagine saying so this is a Wendy's, as the customer. I was in Lowe's one morning right after they opened. There was a woman at the service desk having a complete meltdown yelling and screaming because Lowe's didn't have a license contractor there at the store for her to hire. She apparently woke up that morning and decided she needed a deck like that same day and thought she could just go to Lowe's and have someone immediately start building a deck. It was dead so I stood with the cashier listening to the show. They ended up having to call the police to get her to leave. Work and radio. Got a call on the contest line one time. Yeah, I need a hotel room, said the caller. Okay. How would you like me to help you? Well. Book me one. You're aware you called a radio station's contest line, right? Yeah. Don't you book hotel rooms for rock stars when they do a show in town? Book me one. I'm a high school teacher in Australia. I had a parent rail me out that I wasn't teaching their daughter how to do her taxes. I'm a history teacher. I had a parent rail me mean something different where I come from, lol. I work as a facilities manager for a company with a few hundred locations around the country. Back at the end of 2020 I was having trouble getting in touch with a vendor we had a contract with to do some work around one of our offices. Nothing big. I figured he just ghosted us, so I began looking for another vendor who could take over the work. After two months of radio silence, vendor 1 calls me out of the blue and was clearly very drunk and crying at 1pm on a weekday. Turns out he had gotten covered, was hospitalized, got blood clots in both legs, and had to have them both amputated. He called me while I was at work and told me his whole life story. I ended up staying on the phone with him for about 30-45 minutes and I helped him track down a grief counselor. Hopefully he won't. I still wonder how he's doing sometimes. I love when customers trauma dump on me. Okay so that will be $2.15. Yeah my dog just died and my son was arrested. My mom's house burned down last week too. Oh. Would you like a straw? I just chalk it up to people being lonely. It's especially frequent with older customers. Maybe they just don't have someone to talk to. A man come into my tattoo shop once and asked for a massage with a happy ending. Was like. Ah this is a tattoo studio not a massage parlor. And he just stood there like. Yeah? I know. As if tattooists are synonymous with sexual masseurs. I work for a CPA office that is in an office park with a couple doctor's offices. One day a guy came in only speaking Spanish, so I grabbed my Spanish speaking colleague to translate. He talked to the guy in the lobby for a few minutes, then the guy left and my co-worker came back and asked if that was a joke or we put someone up to that. Apparently the guy explained that his testicles were extremely swollen and painful, he was looking for one of the doctor's offices and just walked into the first building in the complex. I'm, sir, we do taxes here, not testicles. You should put that on your business cards. My curiosity would probably get the better of me. Closing shift at a Starbucks, 
Was like 10 p.m. at night and this couple come inside and walk up to me at the front counter saying, the deli across the street is racist towards white people. I really had no response besides just standing there for a few seconds before saying, did you want to order something? Not one specific moment, since it happened all the time when I worked at Ulta. I'm looking for this lipstick, shows me Sephora brand lipstick. We don't sell that, but I can show you something similar. No, I want this specific lipstick, don't you sell it? Well where can I buy it? A Sephora madam. Overheard on my target shift. Bro, I've never been in a Walmart like this. It has a Starbucks. I'm guessing it was drug related. Got one. Nice lady walks into the cinema I work in, asks for a ticket yada yada. We start chatting a bit while I ring her up, explain how the cinema works etc. It was a slow day too so I could actually do that. And that's when she asks me what hall to go to. I explain to her she has access to all of them, she can just pick wherever she goes first. Cue this. Okay that's great, where's the Barbie movie you know? What do you mean Barbie movie? Lady looks around. Realizes things are very sucky. Oh. Oh no. Oh, I see it too now. Yeah this I sent this kind of cinema. Let me reimburse you. Turns out she literally managed to miss every DVD rental case, the posters and interior deco of the porn cinema she walked into. Edit, I'm surprised at the amount of you that didn't know porn cinemas are a thing actually. I thought they were a common thing, granted a dying one but that they still existed. Had a guy come into my place of work yesterday pissed off because he issued his payment date and had to pay extra to turn his phone back on. He said something along the lines of, it was due at midnight and you all aren't open at midnight, so how was I supposed to pay? I calmly explained that we are open until 7pm every day but Sunday. And he screamed, well unlike you I actually have a job. At my job. Whilst doing my job. I worked in an ice cream truck, a tweaker came up to the back the rear doors were open, and tried to buy weed from me while I was serving customers. I had to explain to him I was not selling weed. Later on he ambushed my truck when I was leaving the park, stood in front, hit the hood a couple times with a piece of metal, and then when I was driving off, threw said metal and shattered one of the side windows on the truck. That kind of reminds me of the GTA Vice City ice cream missions. I work for a marketing company. A customer saw one of our BLM designs and immediately went on a rant about how Black Lives Matter is evil. It was for the Bureau of Land Management. I drove into a McDonald's drive through and asked for a Whopper combo. I was half asleep. Worked at a bookstore in the late 90s. We were located in a mall. Had someone come in asking if we sold computers. My classmate worked at a camera film store in a mall, and said they had someone asking if they sold bicycles. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.